and welcome back to New Week, New Game. This is where I pick a game from my Steam library or generally anywhere that I've never played before. And I, and I play it. I give it a try. I, I see what it's like. If it's something that I think I might play later on at some point, put into a folder to procrastinate getting back to. Or uh, something that I probably won't go back to. And I, I tell you at the end on, on how I feel about that. Today's game is DreamWorks Dragons Dawn of New Riders. Now I'm familiar with dragons as the series that they had. I didn't really watch the movies or I think I caught bits and pieces of the first one. I really don't remember the movie as much as I do the series that they made afterwards. And I wasn't too interested in it. I thought, cool, dragons, this will be nice. And I just didn't catch my attention. And that probably was because I was like early into my teens and uh, this wasn't made for me. This was made for younger audience, which uh, understandable. But I bought a pack on Fanatical, and probably a Humble Bundle, that had a bunch of DreamWorks games and uh, other types of ones based on TV shows and movies. And I thought, oh, this would be great to get. It was like $15, came with more than 15 games, and uh, threw them into the mix for New Week, New Game. And... Dragon's Dawn of the New Rider got drawn from the random dice roll. So, without further ado, let's get in the game. Normally, I would go into the Steam store page and tell you all about what this is and the description and all that, but uh, I didn't do that, so we're going to keep going. Look at this place, Toothless. All that smoke we saw in the air didn't prepare me for this much destruction. Who or what could have done this? I would say something involving fire. Over here, bud. You've got a live one. Judging by his garb, he's not local. Hey there, you okay? Any injuries? Broken bones? I don't think so. Where... where am I? This is Havenholm. It was a dragon refuge. My friends and I built this place not too long ago. I'm Chief Hiccup of Burke, and this is Toothless, Alpha of all dragons. I'm... I'm... I don't know. I can't remember who I am, how I got here, or what happened. Um, seems like you might have taken a hit to your head during whatever happened here. Hopefully your memory will come back over time. Maybe you came from the same place as that dragon egg there. I've never seen anything like it. Have you, Toothless? I think that's a no. Uh, What's that you've got there? A journal? Looks like it's filled with scribbles. And Scribbles was the magic word. That didn't sound good. Come on, Toothless. We need to check out that roar. Astrid and Stormfly are out there somewhere, and they might need our help. You stay here, uh, Scribbler? Yeah, Scribbler. That'll work until we find out what your real name is. Stay here and keep the egg safe, okay? Um. Are you sure? What if whomever or whatever did this comes back? How do I defend myself, let alone this egg? Relax, you'll be fine. See those chests over there? They contain useful items like weapons and shields. Help yourself to whatever you find inside. Come on, Toothless, let's go. Uh. Well then, mysterious dragon egg, it's just you and me now. 
We'll stay here, safe and sound, until Hiccup and Toothless return. Wait, what's happening? Where did the smoke come from? Nicardo! Quick, grab that egg while the smoke screen is thick! That a combination name of Nick and Ricardo? Oh no! Those dragon trappers just stole the egg! I have to go after them! That egg and I are connected somehow. I just know it. I better grab the equipment and those chests Hiccup mentioned. You know, overall so far, not not that bad a game. Got an old axe. And a wooden buckler. Let's go. There's a dodge roll. Axe. Uh, we got a block. There is. There's the block button. I mean, I'm sure it'll probably tell me as I go along. But well, the graphics, nice. It's running very smoothly. Got a dodge roll, so this is going to be cool. Because see what combat's going to be like. Break the barrel. Or the chest. Can't break that. Alright. Uh, anything else around here? I don't want to miss anything. Is there a run button? Nice little transition scene. The uh, environment art's pretty nice. Take out the sheep. Okay, I guess we can't. What's this thing? Nothing we can interact with. We'll just focus on the task at hand, I guess. Is that a checkpoint? Let's keep going. Got a little baby dragon. Where are you going? Press X to swing the axe. Press X multiple times to perform a combo. Smashing boxes. <laughs> boxes. Smashing boxes. Chopping plants. Defeating enemies and opening chests will earn you herbs and ore. You can use these herbs and ore to purchase tonics, buffs, upgrade weapons, and craft new armor throughout the game. Press start to open your inventory. All the things you find and collect in the game are kept there. Well, all right. Hey, it just... It's in here. Take it. That's a health potion. Hold B to quickly use a potion. You must have at least one potion in your inventory in order for this to work. Press A to dodge and hold it down to sprint. There we go, you hold to sprint. Okay. Hold left trigger to raise your shield. There we go. There. Hold left trigger when looking at an enemy to lock onto them. Whilst locked, use A to roll around them. Hold X and then let go when ready to hit the enemy with an unblockable heavy attack. Okay. <laughs> oh, he's got a hammer. Watch out for a flashing red indicator when enemies attack. These attacks cannot be blocked and will need to be dodged. All right. Let's look for... Flashing red indicator, that's that's a pretty good indicator.
do? Do anything? Alright. We did it. Another potion. Just in case we did really badly on that first trial combat. Anyone else here? Oh no, they caught you with the old cage in the sky trick. Hey! What the? Hey, let me out! What do you even want with me and this dragon egg? Yeah. Melody, take it up with the pale poacher. He tells us what to hunt, not why. Now where is that titan wing dragon you rode in on? Uh. What titan wing dragon? What are you talking about? I don't remember anything before. Oh. <gasps> what was that? What are you doing, bookworm? <laughs> Nothing! It's not me! It's the egg! Meet the Chimra Dragon. Meet Patch for the first time. Whoa! Uh, did you just hatch out of that egg? I have to say, good timing. Your explosion hatching stunned those trappers and busted us out of that cage. Thank you. Odin's blood, what kind of dragon is that? He doesn't look like any kind of ice dragon I've seen before. I've done answering your questions. Now you tell us something, or we'll find out exactly what this ice hatchling can do. Who's this pale poacher, and why is he after dragons? A poacher in the name, I can think why. If I told you, I'd be the last thing I ever said. No. If I told you, it'd be the last thing I ever said. Our boss values his privacy, and his punishment for loose lips is worse than anything you could do. Then leave me and this hatchling alone. Sail away from here and never come back. Aye, that we will. Just don't think this is the last you've seen of the mighty Melody. I'm glad they're gone. Thanks again for the rescue. I'm not sure how we wound up together, but I'm glad we did. And there's Toothless and Hiccup. Scribbler, is that you? Toothless, I, I saw an explosion of fire and ice, or fire, ice, and lightning, and came straight away. Honestly, we weren't expecting to find you, and who's this little one? <laughs> he hatched out of that egg. Saved me from a bunch of dragon trappers. Um... No wonder I didn't recognize the egg. I've never seen this type of dragon before. He looks like he's made up of a bunch of different breeds. Like a patchwork dragon. Like... A chimera? A creature made up of the parts of many other creatures? At least according to Greek, that is. Why can I remember that? But not my own name. I can't go by Scribbler forever. Trust me, it's not that bad. Try spending a day being called Hiccup. <laughs> yeah, yeah, laugh it up, bud. Speaking of names, though, what are we going to call this little Chimera Dragon? Hmm. How about Patch? You know, short for Patchwork. What do you think, little guy? Oh, I like that name. That's a good name for me, uh. <laughs> Patchwork. I think he likes it. Patch it is. Seeing as you two are going to be together now, you'll need to form a bond. Just reach out your hand and let Patch come to you. No, not the hand with the axe. <laughs> and the bond has been formed. <laughs> That's it. You're a natural. That's how to train your dragon. Hey, they said the name. How's it feel to have a new best friend for life? It... It feels amazing. It's like... I don't know. Like we belong together. Maybe you do. Now let's head back to camp. 
See if Astrid and Stormfly have returned. Hmm. Still no sign of Astrid. Hopefully she's having better luck locating whatever made that roar. In the meantime, we need to rebuild this campground. Let the dragons know it's safe to return. That means calling in some reinforcements with a terror mail. <laughs> that terrible terrors carry messages to and from Burke for us. <laughs> so many words. Hey, look, there's one waiting for us now. Hey. Dear Hiccup, if you would be so kind as to cut short you your wee flight of fancy, perhaps we might trouble you to return home. Before Perk gets burned in dragon dung. Oh, buried in dragon dung. Our village is completely overcrowded with all your rescues. If even so much as one more fireworm lands here, the entire islands collapse under all our weight. Ugh. And I thought you and that night fury of yours used to shriek responsibilities back when you were my apprentice. Hurry back, chief. And do something, you know, chiefly. Get going already. Gobber. I don't even know if that's what Gobber's voice sounds like. Heart vaguely remember the character. Scribbler, I need to return to Burke and take care of this. No problem. Patch and I will search for the rest of the island. Ugh. No problem. Patch and I will search the rest of the island. See if we can locate that roar. I have a feeling it's connected to what happened here. Okay, just keep an eye out for more chests. The trappers we faced so far are nothing compared to what you may encounter going forward. Take this map of the area. It'll help you find your way. Thank you. Now, what do you say, Patch? Ready to start this little quest of ours? Yeah, yeah, I like to start a quest. Quests would be nice. Let's, let's do a quest. Did Toothless just have teeth right there? Finding the Roaring Dragon. Let's just open the map. Looks like there's a sack of something over there. And a circle. Alright, well. Oh, Astrid's Alchemy and the Objective. Let's get going. Breaking all these things, not get anything for it. Can I switch between the two? Oh, I can. Ah, uh, I'm in control now, and I leave the pack. Ha 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 ha! There's a sheep. Pressed. Select to open up the exploration map. Your current objective will always be displayed on the map screen. Which we, we did that. So we can't do anything with the uh, shibis? What about this? It doesn't look like we can pass through here at the moment, Patch. Looks like we need something to activate that statue. Let's return here once we found it. Haha, uh, okay, we'll come back here. Once we have found whatever we need, move the sheep, move the sheep. <laughs> Is that blocking? <laughs> Alright, switch back to Scribbler here. It's a cheatist. With a lot of those in it. <clears throat> Another one of those terrors. Oh, you hear some type of. Um. I know my memory is fuzzy, but I'm pretty sure I can't walk on water, Patch. But Kit Patch, hang on a minute. Maybe you could freeze this water with your ice breath. Use LB to switch between Scribbler and Baby Patch. Press X to fire Patch's elemental ability. 
And there we go. Ha ha ha, I froze the lake. Ha 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 ha. I still going the right way? Damn. Checkpoint. In combat, Baby Patch will be ignored by the Dragon Trappers as his attacks are too weak to be a threat. If Scribbler is knocked out by the Trappers, Baby Patch will be captured. That guy sound like a Viking helmet. Oh, yeah, we're Viking now. Uh, let's see, can we break this? No, can you break this? Nope. Backed into a corner. There we go. Oh, the thing's down now. Guess I could use one of these. Get us back to full. That's a big tree, Patch. I bet it would make a pretty strong bridge. Press X to swing your axe and knock down that tree. Yeah, with a single swoop. We are so strong. Am I supposed to be going this way? Maybe? Looks like it might just be a regular island if we go the other direction. Might be better to go back and check it out. So I think that's the way we progress to go forward with the story. Oop. Oop. Oh yeah, look at these chests. Ooh. Ah. Wow. All right, back to uh, what we were doing. You. You. twice you know for a third party game really not that bad a game I don't remember having to do this it's be a different way
bunch of little terrors. Woo! Let's see what's over here. That's gonna go to a different area. Should we go to a different area? Yeah, let's see what it is. Hey, waypoint. Or, uh, checkpoint. Ooh, a chest. Fancy. Oh, there's Astrid! Halt! I wouldn't take another step if I were you. My natter never misses, and neither do I. Wait, we mean no harm. Are you telling me you didn't have anything to do with the forest fire on Haven Home? Uh. Far from it. But Patch, that is, my Camara Dragon Hatchling, scared those trappers. Camara, what? It's a long story. I'm Scribbler. I'm guessing you're Astrid? <laughs> ah! I see you've met my blabbery mouth boyfriend, Hiccup. Stand down, Stormfly. These two are friends. That's good to hear. Well, as your new friend, let me offer some assistance. I can see you've been collecting herbs. How about a trade? Some of your herbs for a few of my tonics. <laughs> Sounds good. You can now approach Astrid and press A to trade with her. Alright, what do you got? Hey, need anything? Uh, we're maxed there. Guess I could trade and get a medium health one. Do we have enough for a medium health one? We do. Alright, so the ones in red we don't have enough for. But this would be the only ones that we could get, so let's do that. Just a few shy of getting that yak nog. Or way of like alternating between which ones we equip. I think that one just says use. Oh, I don't really use it. Oh, it let me use it, didn't it? Ah. Alright, I was trying to get it to set to my hotkey. Oh, we're getting close to the dragon. Oh. Looks like we just forgot how to play there. It's strange, Patch. This place feels so familiar to me. Even though I don't remember being here before. It's the same with you, Patch. I feel like we've met before. But how can that be when you've only just hatched? Oh yeah, I'm a newborn. I just hatched. I feel like my memories are starting to return. But they're fuzzy. I think I've been a scholar my whole life. Then there's an image of a pale man arriving on our island in an odd ship. One that seemed better suited for the skies than seas. I'm sure he had a large dragon with him. Could that be the Titan wings those trappers are looking for? I wonder where it is now. Booyah, booyah. So 
what's over here? Just a bunch of bushes. And just roll into them and destroy them. It definitely has like indie game vibes to me playing it for like a third party game. Usually third party games are kind of like, eh, this one's not so bad. It's, it's not so bad at all. Combat's good. It's very kind of simple. Block, dodge, attack. Platformer aspect doesn't seem bad. like we need to find our way this direction it's a bridge right there maybe we can go up nope. and over this way Just rapid fire. Good thing we don't have durability on this. Oh, I stopped. There it goes. Oh, we got a new opponent. At least I'm pretty sure they're opponents. They're not fighting or attacking the other trappers. Oh, he throws. Okay. Ooh. Ouch. Need it. Just one of those. All right, let's keep going. Ah, there's a ship down there. Oh no, rocks. All right, let's keep going this direction here. See a chest on the water. Oh. All right, luckily this one was blocked and the AI doesn't move closer to hurt us. Oh, 
Look at him. Look at him. They're kind of like stuck on that rock there. Oh, yeah. All right. Switch back over here to the little hatch dragon. Uh, switch again. This. Nice. Uh, where are we supposed to go? Down and around. Kind of f still feel like we're on the right path. Uh oh, somebody sees us. Cool. This was the way we had to go. Not quite, though. Or maybe, you know, part of the way that we have to go. Up and over a bridge. Yep, maybe we're getting closer. Ash is just getting attacked. Good thing he doesn't have a health bar. Here we go. This is where our objective is. Careful, Patch. He doesn't look friendly. Got, like poison bombs on his wings and tails. Uh, I know my memories are foggy, but I don't remember seeing those orbs on other dragons before. Hey. Look, Patch, whatever they're filled with seems to be leaking some kind of gas. Uh, Maybe if we destroy those orbs, it'll calm down, calm them down. Free dragons by destroying the orbs attached to them. Once all the orbs are destroyed, the dragon will break free of their control. Come on. I did not break it. Looks like there's something over here. There, we're missing. No. Anything over here? Aha! Ocean. Ocean. Just go across the way, and there's Astrid and Stormfly. That same roar again. Sounds like it came from inside these ruins. There's only one way to find out. It's like he went towards it and then came back. Hmm. 
Hmm. Incredible. These are the oldest ruins I've ever seen. At least as far as I can remember. Whoa. This whole complex looks ancient. Like it was built by the first Vikings. Uh. The engravings are pretty faded, but one name keeps showing up over and over again. Bork. Bork. As in Bork the Bold? Whatever made that roar sounds like it's in distress. We have to protect it from any trappers. Stormfly and I will guard the entrance. If you get into trouble or need healing, you'll know where to find us at, at the entrance, because that's what she just said. Huh? Are you sure that's a good idea? Uh, Patch and I aren't exactly experienced in this. <laughs> You'll be fine. Stormfly and I have a good feeling about you two. Explore the Heaven Home Ruins. All right. Well, I actually think this is a good place to stop. Uh, I believe that's been 30 minutes. That's 41 minutes in total. I wanted to at least get past, like, the old... To the, the part where um, the dragon was roaring. So we could see the dragon. But it gave us a little boss battle and then into this portion here. I know it's going to take longer, and I like to keep my videos around 30 minutes. Sometimes they go over, but if I kept going, probably would shoot over an hour. Because I still like to yap at the end of these things. A uh, good game. For like a third-party game, I would have to say is really nice. There have been some pretty terrible third-party games out there, and this is during a time where it seemed like every DreamWorks or Disney or Nickelodeon or Cartoon was... Network uh, was getting a video game adaptation, and not all of them were good. But this has like platformer uh, vibes to it, indie indie game vibes to them, and uh, I like it. Especially, I wanted wanted to keep going to see if there was possible to do like and use other dragons or other characters or things like that, and uh, see if they let you change around or if you just kind of stay as uh, um, Patch and Scribbles here. But, yeah, very nice game. Would I come back and play the game is another question. Uh, there are so many games out there that it's hard to say for sure if I would come back and play. I think if I was more in to How to Train Your Dragon, I would come back and finish this game. Of course, if it gets popular enough and I get requests to finish the game, I will do that. I'll finish the game from there. But other than that, I, I don't really think I would come back and play again. And uh, I'm, I'm mainly saying that also because like Sung Wong Kong, or not Sung Wong Kong, Black Myth Wong Kong is uh, out. And I've been playing a lot of that. And then uh, this week, yeah, this week is when, uh, or no, next week, because, well, shoot, you'll see this Sunday. So that week... Uh, Gundam Breaker 4 comes out and I'm going to be playing a whole lot of that I can definitely add it into my folder of games to play again and at some point maybe come back and play it again I think something I want to do next year is focus on completing games so we've got plenty of games that we've played but we don't have plenty of games that we've beaten played an hour or so into some games 30 minutes an hour uh maybe a little longer but never got to the end and never beat them and uh something i think i want to conquer next year so that might be a whole series in itself but yeah we'll see what happens <laughs> anyways oh uh two thumbs up by the way for this game good game really like the game i was giving it praises we were going through graphics look amazing Gameplay mechanics were really good, and uh, I enjoyed it. I had a good time. Uh, story, I mean, they kept with a good story. There's more to it, of course, and if you're a fan of How to Train Your Dragon, maybe it's a story that you'll like. But anyways, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next game of New Week, New Game. Goodbye.